there's a clutch of vaccines coming to do battle with the coronavirus, the big question is, how do they actually work? Well, let's get viral and find out. Virtual and find out. Oh, you know what I meant. The latest vaccines for COVID-19 are the new kids on the block. Unlike the past, where vaccines contain parts and pieces of a dead or deactivated virus's protein or antigen, with the new vaccines, you're not being given a protein. You're being given genetic material, a tiny strand of code that instructs your body's cells to actually build a coronavirus protein yourself. This then kickstarts your body's defenses. And it's this process that more precisely mirrors what your body would normally do if it had a natural infection. The reason scientists have not been able to do this before now is because they were just too delicate to create, as they were easily destroyed by our body's immune system. Let's focus specifically on the two most imminent vaccines that are both mRNA, or messenger RNA-based vaccines. They're injected directly into our muscle cells. mRNA already exists inside each of our trillions of cells, and it's used by our DNA, our body's recipe book, as a way to send a message, hence the name, to our cells' factories to build proteins and thus, doctors say, activating our defenses efficiently and naturally to produce antibodies without any risk of infection. And it's these vaccines that are being produced by Moderna and Pfizer. mRNA vaccines can be developed reasonably quickly and effectively, but this will be the first time they've been produced on such a massive scale, so their effectiveness will also rely upon how exactly and correctly they can be reproduced over and over and over again. mRNA vaccines will need months more use and feedback, but this is an emergency situation, and science has, thanks to millions of brains in concert, created an incredible answer in record time. For now, Thank you, Brains. Oh, you're welcome, Rick. <laughs> What's good about mRNA vaccines is that scientists say the risk of them going back into the cell's nucleus and messing with our DNA, creating other illnesses, is highly unlikely. It's just not how they work. They're not gene therapy either. They can easily be re-engineered to compensate for any mutation of the coronavirus, too. Our bodies also break down mRNA in a very short space of time, but it has to be present long enough to make the coronavirus proteins, and then it's up to our bodies to make the immune response, and that's what determines how long it takes to build up immunity. Because of this, we also don't know how long they'll protect us from the virus, or whether they'll stop us from being reinfected long term. That's why we need to have two injections weeks apart. It's a way to be exposed twice. The first one primes our immune system, and then the second one ensures our body reacts to the threat, producing greater amounts of antibodies ready to fight off infection. In the future, mRNA vaccines in particular could lead to finding solutions not just for the coronavirus, but also for the flu, rabies, and other pandemics or pathogens that will inevitably come our way ensuring the global health of all our nations and making certain that the human race keeps on running way past the finish line.